Started out with about 20,000 fish. Gunnison River rainbow trout, uh, pure strain. They came from the east portal section of the Gunnison River. Um, they're coming up on almost a year old. They were spawned last April. And we had 20,000 over here, and we've taken, been taking them net by net, bucket by bucket. What we're doing here is very carefully flipping the left pelvic fin of each and every rainbow. This is so we can identify them if we recapture them in the Arkansas River. And we'll know right off the bat that this, this fish is from the hatchery. That's our goal here on the Arkansas River currently. We're trying to reestablish the rainbow trout fishery to become a self-sustained population. We want them to reproduce on their own. This is our way of identifying very quickly whether we're seeing natural reproduction or if we're just recapturing these hatchery fish. It's kind of a daunting task when you first show up and there's 20,000 fish in here and you're going, oh my gosh, you know, this is going to be a lot of work. But uh, you just keep plugging away and you keep don't going at it. it. You you don't, yeah, you just keep getting the zone and keep, keep rolling. And eventually they get all done. I think last year I figured we did a thousand per person per day, roughly. So we're going to track these guys through time for the next three or four years as they become adults and hopefully they'll be able to, to bring in a new progeny of fish naturally in the river. And we'll be able to capture that thanks to, thanks to this effort. Anybody could do it when it's warm, but it takes dedicated people to do it when it's cold. It's so stupid people to do it. <laughs> In the 80s, uh, whirling disease came about in the Arkansas River and, and really knocked back the rainbow trout uh, population. The brown trout are doing fine. They're more resistant to whirling disease. So for the past decade plus, biologists have been experimenting with different strains of rainbow trout, um, some of which are more resistant to whirling disease. We've tried uh, different crosses, um, a hofer cross with the Colorado River rainbow trout, was commonly used for a number of years because they showed good resistance to whirling disease. Um, we tried them in the Arkansas River and we did see those fish grow to become adults. However, we saw very little natural reproduction. So this Gunnison River rainbow strain, um, it's a pure strain, it's not crossed with any other. They show um, great natural resistance to whirling disease as well. So. This is our second year trying to stock this uh, specific strain in the Arkansas River with hopes that they'll be the key. Um, hopefully they'll grow to adulthood and, and reproduce naturally. Gunnison River was also exposed to whirling disease and, and it really it took a toll on those rainbow trout as well. Um, this population, however, bounced back naturally. Um, so there's some natural resistance to whirling disease. We did the same effort last February and March. Um, stocked about 12,000 of these Gunnison River rainbows in the Arkansas River. And then we returned and sampled the Arkansas River doing some raft uh, electrofishing. And we were able to recapture a good number of these fish. And uh, they showed pretty good growth rates. Uh, when we stocked them they were about three inches long and we recaptured them in November. They were averaging between six and seven inches so um, they had grown quite a bit and um, part of this is we're gonna have to do this effort for four or five years um, to really see it through. Um, as these first fish become adults we want to be able to to supplement the population at every age class um, so we can see. It's going to take a few years before we see if, if natural reproduction is happening. So we just want to keep doing this for four or five years and see what our results are and then go from there. Personally, this is, this is kind of what I always envis envisioned myself doing. Um, that's why I went to Colorado State and, and pursued a degree in, in fish biology. And that's why I worked seasonally for Parks and Wildlife for, for eight years. Uh, this is what I wanted to do. And yeah, I grew up hiking to high lakes in this area, fishing the Arkansas River. Uh, this is my home area. I feel super fortunate to, 
to be able to help manage the fishery. And fish is what I've always been passionate about. Thank <laughs> you.